Slavo, Mystic members, Mystic Poet 82 here, and welcome to another A&E, otherwise known as Advice and Encouragement. Now, today's advice is about dealing with people who like to cause conflict on social media. Now, if you've been on social media for a fairly decent amount of time, you know by now, there are people out there that are just generally negative, or they like to pick fights wherever they can, or bring something negative up that has absolutely nothing to do with the subject at hand. And that instance happened to me last night on Twitter. Now last year, around Halloween, a product came out, and when I saw it, my mind pretty much went in the gutter because it was it, it's an edible product I'm not going to say what it was if you guys really want to know PM me on Discord DM me on Twitter whatever and I'll send you a picture because I did take a picture so I take the picture of it and I tweeted it out to two of my good friends who are Star Wars our peers and they've been doing it since early last year so they're going on past their first year of role playing together and hopefully they keep going they don't I don't think they plan to stop but like it gave me an idea for their role playing and obviously it was an inappropriate idea but it was really funny and we were it was just kind of one of those things where we were tweeting back and forth and laughing about it all night. So I take the picture and I tag both of them in it just to give them a good memory laugh, which it did, and somebody else decided to butt in on our little fun and try to ruin it for me because it was all a joke. It's based on an edible product and they took it to an extreme some global issue I don't even know, like, something about radiation and stuff like that, and I'm, like, thinking to myself, why are you trying to ruin ruin my fun? Like, we're just trying to make a joke out of a stupid product at the store, and you're totally turning it another direction. Like, that doesn't make sense, and you're just, you're just making it, like, you're just ruining everything. So... I tried to bring light to the situation, but they wouldn't have it. They just kept trying to push it in the other direction. So I stopped. Thankfully, I was getting ready to start work, so I made that excuse, which it was a valid excuse because it was also the truth. And hopefully it doesn't come up again or they don't try to continue with it because I will block them. I, I will not tolerate conflict like that on something that I'm just making a joke and another thing I'm a nobody I don't mean crap to the world I whatever I say doesn't matter I could I mean I could say some of the worst things on the planet and no one would care because I'm really a nobody issues like that need to be brought to somebody I'm not the somebody to bring that to or made aware of that thing and I'm not interested that is not a problem that is not my problem it is a world problem or it should be brought to somebody with a name I don't have a name I'm just a person I'm just a random person out in the middle of nowhere basically which kind of I am right now too (laughs) No, I was fortunate to be able to walk in the cornfield today, so, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's like, I don't care about that. Why are you trying to ruin an inside joke that I made with my friends last year by bringing something negative into it? And honestly, I can't stand people like that. And hopefully it doesn't happen again, but if you guys ever deal with that or somebody wants to pick a fight over something really stupid... The best thing is, do not respond. 
First, do not respond. If they keep going and won't stop, block them. That's the good thing about social media. They give you the option to report and block people that are harassing you. Not that anything, you know, always gets done about it, but if they make others aware of the situation, more people can join in and reporting and blocking them also, and then further action can be taken if necessary. Because, I mean, it wasn't really that bad of an issue, because it was just a minor little thing. But even still, if you're not part of the conversation, don't butt into it when you weren't ever a part of it, it's just rude. And that seems to happen a lot too. It's fine if you have something, if you can go along with the joke and understand the joke, but very few people know that inside joke that we had and it's not really something we care to share with anyone because it's between us. And that's pretty much all I have for that. Like just don't butt into people's conversations. If you have something that goes along or a funny story that goes along with it, yeah, share it and maybe they'll appreciate that. But to take something that somebody's taking as a joke and then turn it into a totally negative direction is not cool. And there are, like I said, there are people out there that do that and there are people that just want to throw negative into anything and everything and want to pick fights over the dumbest stuff, and it's like, I just, I don't have time to deal with people like that, so, like, I've known, like, when I first even got into any kind of social media type thing, back when I had dial-up internet, I joined in Yahoo chat rooms, and one of the ones I was in, there was a guy who loved to argue, pick fights, like he was just all around negative all the time. And I more or less avoided talking to him because it just would stir up and I didn't feel like, you know, dealing with that. So I would just say hi and talk to the actual nice people that were in that chat room. (laughs) But yeah, there are people like that, um, so if you encounter one, like I said, ignore them first. If that doesn't work and they keep going, block, report and block if necessary. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, hope you guys have a wonderful day and don't have to deal with too much of this. It does happen, so hopefully my advice helps somebody out there. Who may encounter this. If you want to take it into a debate, that is totally up to you. I I was getting ready to start work and that last thing I really wanted to do was be mad as much as I did not feel like being at work. 